Hi everyone, this is Zusta Sparky over here. Um, in today's quick tutorial, we're going to be learning about the F trig and the R trig um instruction blocks, falling edge detection and rising edge detection. Like their name says, they're detections. They're sort of detectors. Um, yeah, they um boolean operate. They use boolean operation to detect um the output coming in. Um, so and yeah, it gives a certain output as it gets the input. So what these uses are pulses. Um, if you don't know what pulses are, look at my other video. Um, explaining what pulses are. Basically, they're like the smallest form of um energizing input you can send to an instruction block or uh, any block of any kind. So over here, I've got my contacts. Okay, one. Okay, zero and one. My inputs. And over here, um, okay, so what F trig and R trig here, every time it gets an input, it's going to send out a pulse. Okay, falling edge means when it, uh, when the input, input goes away, then it sends one pulse. And rising means once it gets the input, it sends a pulse. So this waits till it's like the energized. This, this sends a pulse as soon as it's energized. Okay, so R trig one point Q over here. I'll tell you in a minute what they are. Okay, so local variables here, double click into them. Okay, if you expand F trig and R trig over here, um you get these um you get these variables under some variables under them. So you got the C O K which is the input, the Q which is um which is the output and the uh, fedge which is the falling edge and the rising edge. The uh, C T U have the same thing. You can you can, what you can do, you can copy these variables and paste them into any um, input or output. In my case, I've got the output here and I'll uh, input it over here. So every time the output en energizes with a pulse, this will energize with a pulse. And in turn, we wanted to, um, we'll be able to detect the pulses using our um, count up timers here, our count up blocks here, which I've used in previous um, videos. So yeah, let's just see this at work. Okay, I'll start with the falling edge one. Okay, so energize it. Okay, so falling edge, F trig, F trig. Okay, so I did this a bit awkwardly. I should have put this there. So F trig. Okay, so as you can see, um, I was using it previously. I already got two counts. As soon as I let that go, this will go up by one count, which it does. And this one, it go one count as soon as I hit the input here. So sweet. As soon as it gets the input, it counts. This one, as soon as it hits the input, it doesn't count. When the input let goes, then it counts. So that's the difference between falling and rising edge contacts. Um, so these um falling edge detection, rising edge detection, basically um detects the falling and rising of a boolean uh, value into this block, and then yeah, it gives out that pulse accordingly. Um, so a bit, one of the big things in like the newer industrial machines is data collection. Um. There's gonna have a, they're gonna have a computer which stores all this data, like how many runs it does a day, how many errors it has a day, this and that. So these F trigs and R trigs can be used to, um, to count these values. Um, in future videos, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna show how we can get these v variables in local variables and um, transfer them to an Excel file and be able to like see it's of a machine's overall performance in like one or two days. So okay, this is Zeus the Sparky. You're gonna need comments about this video below. Please comment. Like we, like I said, we all on a learning curve here. We can learn from each other. Um, if you want to see more videos than this, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like it. Besides that, have a great day, and I'll yeah, see you next time.